No matter how beloved the brand, internet giants like Amazon are forcing retailers to pull out all the stops. Nike in New York City just put in a full-size regulation basketball court. But other brands such as Lululemon are putting in yoga studios. But marketing manager Gretchen Connolly says in-store dining is the path to a customer's heart and wallet. I think it's a big initiative because um, retail has an issue with trying to drive traffic. At the Tommy Bahama restaurant, the first retail dining spot on our list, the cuisine matches the brand to a T. Well, at Tommy Bahama, we want you to live the island life, and that goes from your apparel to what you eat and what you drink. Think fresh seared scallop sliders and ahi tuna salad. The appetizers start at around 12 bucks. And the bar has its own advantages. That's beautiful, thank you. And if I spill this on my shirt, I can get a new one right here. Next up, we're ditching the Mai Tais for kayaks, fishing, and hunting gear at outdoor retail giant Cabela's. Check out the bears, raccoons, and elk at their wildlife museum. Then taste the wildlife at their Cactus Flats Cafe. This elk burger will set you back about $8.50. Finally, when you hear Crayfish Festival, what comes to mind? IKEA, of course! Okay, well, besides their yearly crayfish feast, IKEA's massive restaurant serves up sandwiches and Swedish meatballs. Please give a side of meatballs, please. More than two million meatballs are served daily at IKEA stores across the planet. Getting to our wallets through our taste buds. Retail dining, it's what's trending.